the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more uh, plays for you guys today out of my pistol playbook. Uh, I got about three breakdowns out already. Uh, the Full House is one. I have one out of the week. And I have one out of the Pistol Bunch TE. Uh, all of which, I'll put links in the description for all three of these. So if you want to catch up on the Pistol Playbook. Uh, but today, I'm going to be focusing on the Pistol Week Slot Flex. It's really only three plays. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show that to you guys now. I'll put them in the audience. Um, I already have them in there. I have the halfback dive week, uh, which is a really good run play. Um, I have the, the halfback counter, the power option, and the PA power option pass. Those are the four biggest plays. So this to me, like I said, is one of the most explosive offenses in the game. And to me, this is the glitchiest offensive playbook in the game. I have a full breakdown of this offense. It's about an hour and a half. It's on my Patreon right now, and it's also on my Join Now community tab. Hopefully, I'll have the entire ebook out on my website. Uh, but like I said, for now you can check it out on those on those platforms those two platforms link in the description below or you can just watch the breakdowns that i've already put out on youtube like i said i'll put a link in the description for those so let's go and let's get right into this so like i said i got my fourth plays my fifth play i mean i really like the smash wide corner but i'll take my fifth play is just the, the halfback screen because there's so much confusion you can create with this offense that people never see the screen coming and i typically uh, score a lot of touchdowns with that as well so on the defensive side we're just going to match we're just going to go i mean most people run nickel um uh, I guess I'll do that because this is what everybody's running, the 3 through 5, the odd, you know, stuff like that. So we're just going to go random nickel. Now before we get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get, uh, you know, get your mutt team up, I know we're getting a lot of end game cards coming out right now. Make sure to check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Now as far as the reads go, like I said, this play right here, the power option, is my go-to play. I find you can, I mean, for one, you can flip it. It works no matter what. You can run it to the side that it's uh, directed to, or you can flip it. It's going to have the same success. If it's a man coverage, a lot of times there's no cornerback on the right side, so I'm definitely going to take to the flip. If it's a cover three, I'll run it that way a lot of times because the cornerbacks drop back. Cover four zones, the cornerbacks drop back. All that stuff really helps out. But on this play, since I, I have an overload on the right and not on the left, it's a real easy read. So I'm just going to take it to this side. Like I said, I hold it with the quarterback typically as long as possible. Um, there, I didn't quite get the, the success that I'm used to. But like I said, without a doubt, this is one of the more successful plays. So we're going to go, we're going to stick with that, uh, and then we're going to run to the wide side. I find that, honestly, it might be best to run to this side of the field. Uh, you can see, you get some crazy pitch animations. That's the thing that really makes this play overpowered, is the pitch animations you get. You almost always get them out. So like I said, go into the replay for whatever reason. And this is something that I think you should do pretty much every time you run this. Hold this ball as long as possible. Sometimes I wait for contact because I know the pitch is going to get out anyway. And you can see Patrick Mahomes is such a cheat code. He just does like some Spinderella move uh, where he basically gets it out regardless. So like I said, a lot of times I'll hold it just to make sure that I take out uh, this blocker entirely. If you pitch the ball and the quarterback's still on his feet, he will turn to a blocker and he will help you out that way. So this play, because of what the quarterback is capable of is really what makes this such a glitchy play so without a doubt the power option play is the number one play i'm always trying to go back to this play if i go back to the menu screen i'm willing to bet i average at least 10 a carry doing this uh because it's just such a hard play to stop i really didn't look at it real quick but let's go and let's do that just for fun um yeah we average nine almost nine and a half so without a doubt this is one of the better plays to go with so let's go back in like i said this is a look here like if they're if they're stacked box like this this is perfect i can just flip this play take it out like i said wait till that guy makes contact a lot of times and then you can see we have nothing but space out here nothing but blocking i love this play it's so hard to stop so that's pretty much your reads like right here we have you know no cornerback looks like a blitz we're gonna go outside of this blitz we're gonna have a lot of success people that like the blitz heavy um, are gonna have a hard time stopping this play there that guy just ran with him didn't even block him but you can see we still get a very successful carry so based off of the fact that this power option is and this formation every time your opponent sees this formation they're going to be expecting these outside runs and they're going to start spreading the defense so when you get 
spread defensive looks, you have a couple of choices. The dive, which is probably the safest one. I don't expect like a, a lot of huge runs with this, although I have had some and I will put them at the beginning of the video. Uh, but without a doubt, these are going to be your options. If the if the if they're spraying their defense to try to take away the power option, you have the dive and then you also have the counter. The dive is going to be a safe run. The counter is going to be another uh, you know more explosive uh, variety. Now here's a good spread look where the counter would be a good play. I could run this to the uh, the open side as well based off the fact that there's no real uh, corner in the box here but you can see I mean these plays they're not as explosive or consistent but they're good plays so here's another one there looks like there's you know they're they're definitely uh, bringing the uh, bringing some heat here like I said I, I hit that counter properly I go inside of that outside guy and we're having a very consistent run scheme between those three plays now the last play that I say I kind of consider to run play as a screenplay based off of so much misdirection and the pass play I'm about to show you the screenplay I find really uh, you know your opponent's users really going to be on their toes i don't run a lot of screenplays but i really run this screenplay quite a bit like i said you'll see in the gameplay tomorrow now as far as the uh the pass play that i'm going to show the pa power option pass this play you can run against just about any defense so we're going to go we're going to pick that on the defensive side we're just going to match uh with nickel random nickel again so this play here, I find it's best to run to the open side of the field, run it from a hash mark. It's very similar to, uh, I mean, if you're running the speed options all the time, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to run from the hash mark because it's all, you're always going to be outside. So we're just going to streak the A route, put the B route to drag. Then I like to motion out this uh, this running back here and leave him on that swing route. If it's a cover three, which is what this looks like, if you have a fast enough tight end, this tight end will a lot of times get open right over the top here. Now, I don't think that this is something that's going to work in regs based off the fact that you don't have have uh, as many 97 speed tight ends as I have on my mutt team but like I said this is a play that really works uh, against random defenses anyway I've also scored a few touchdowns like this where if you're going against a man coverage nobody comes out to follow this running back and it gives you a really easy uh, play outside here too so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this uh, offense but like I said you obviously need a little bit more speed at tight end to run the cover three variation but I'm not too worried about that because ultimately it's really more about um, the a route the X route and the b route than it is anything else so right here like i said that a route you see that cornerback bites so you can have some successful plays there i mean like i said if i had more speed probably with an easy one play touchdown but you can see against cover three it has a lot of success but these are just a few of the things you can do you can see we have uh explosive capabilities this right here if it's a cover two that a route's going to be open right over the top once again looks like it's not which is fine because like i said we have multiple other routes here that are going to have a ton of success uh the crossing routes especially so we're going to do this one more time. Like I said, if nobody follows this running back, just put him on a streak and quick snap it. Here, it looks like a man coverage somebody followed. It is what it is. I'm still going to have success. You can see that that route definitely clears out the side, uh, which is going to play a big part in some of these crossing routes anyway. So that's why a lot of times I leave him. You can also put him on a slant. We're going to do that again. Like I said, if nobody follows, quick snap it. Hit that guy for an easy, uh, easy big play. And then, like I said right here, a lot of times this, this tight end is just open right over the middle, especially in cover twos. You can have explosive plays right up the middle for one-play touchdowns, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, like I said, I have a full breakdown of this on my Patreon with even more plays. So if you guys want to see that, hit the Join Now community tab or link in the description for Patreon. And other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.